Okay, Inkscape. Drag in your file. Embedded link, I don't know, whatever. Okay, now you got that. Hit the plus sign to zoom in. Alright, go to File. Document Properties. Make sure that the border shows. It's for later. And then uh, click on Resize Page to Content. Resize Page to fit drawing or selection. Maybe. Or you can change whatever you want the size to be. Okay, so now uh, maybe change this opacity. Just so you can see a little bit of it. You want to be able to draw over it and tell that you're drawing over it. All right, so now you're going to draw a circle for the guy's head. All right, but it looks weird. A, the opacity is off. So turn back to 100. All right, now you want to go to Object, Fill and Stroke, sh Control Shift F. All right, this is your awesome. You're going to use that a lot. So that's how you get to that. Now you have the object. Now you can just click on the color that you want it to be. Right, and turn the stroke on, and now you can hit stroke style, and you can just click until it looks about the thickness that you want it to be. Right, <clears throat> there you go. All right, so now you want the eyeball to go on top of it. So you could draw another circle if you want, or you can just duplicate this circle and uh, make it to the length you want it to be. Once again, mess with the thickness a little bit. have consistency was that 2.2 right 2.2 every time just two that way it's easier tangent all right no I just wanted to thank you though all right so you want it to be white so you just click on white right there and uh well you want the iris okay let's duplicate that make it smaller now you don't have to worry about the thickness because it ain't gonna show you got the black outline there Right, so now we're gonna zoom in. Now you want that to have a shiny spot, right? So we'll duplicate it again. We're gonna hit white this time, right? Now you got a little white dot there, right? There's your iris. Now you can't just select right here because it's gonna move that over. So whenever you select in here, you want to go off an object so you're in white space, and you want to just surround the spot that has that you want it to do. That way, now you have it selected, you could group it if you'd like. And now you can click on that and put your iris where you want it to be. Now you're going to do the mouth. Or, no, uh, uh, the eye, the, the, you have eyelids right here. So how are you going to do that? Okay, well, you can just click right here. Make a nice little box there. Right? Click on your color. And now, uh, you might want to duplicate this. I'll show you why. So if you hit shift and select both of those objects, then you go to path, division, right? Now, you got that. But if you like wanted to like, oh, let me, let me, uh, let me just move this. Like, guess what? It already chopped off your eyeball there. So maybe you would want to duplicate that first. I don't know. So how, you, how do you do the mouth? Well, you can do the, this tool here, the drawing uh, pencil tool, right? So you can click on the black there, and then you can draw over it, or maybe gray, just so you can see it over it. You can make it black later. All right, so now uh, you can click point to point, or you can use the the pencil tool. And we're just going to do the same thing. This time we're going to do the tongue first, right? Make it pink or whatever color you want. Uh, now we're going to do the same thing path division right so you click on there now you can pick the color right same thing with the teeth you could, uh, and I, I like using the freehand tool for this stuff because I want it to look a little bit organic right there you go now you put a tooth there then I don't let's see if this will work because it might not be a full object maybe that's the reason nope it worked all right so now you click on that now you can click on the gray part and make it black and if this looks a little weird you can tweak it later 
Maybe that's the thickness. That's why it's messing with it. So maybe you could turn the thickness down a little bit. See if that does anything. That makes it look a little weird. Alright, I guess if you wanted to crop that off, you could always like smooth it out here like this. And then you can go to subtract, I think. Let's see here. Uh, what is that? Difference? I think that's what it is. There you go. So now it's a little bit smoother. Whatever. It is still a little bit weird. All right, anyway. Uh, it's good to keep your elements off. That way, you know, you can... Uh, you just duplicate this, put it on there, right? Now you got your shapes. You can just drag and put them on there, you know? Alright. And then, uh, I forget how you do the mouse. Okay, how do you do the bodies? Well, <clears throat> you, you could do point to point, you know, click that. Or if you made it a box, you can tweak the box a little bit. Make it a gray suit. Two point. Right. Go to path, object to path. That way you have all four nodes that you can tweak now, right? And it doesn't have to be perfect because you hit page down. There you go. You're you're there, right? So we can tweak that a little bit over there too. Okay. Now you had uh, a line here, right? So, make a line there, all right, make a line there, all right, now you want to do the color, well, uh, oh, I'm on this, I'm on the pencil tool, I don't know why it's messing up, all right, uh, click on the pen tool, right, make your object, now you can make, you know, you don't have to mess with the color yet, uh, select it, select it, same thing, path, division, there you go. Now you got that little object that's c combined with it. There you go. You want to add the hands? Let's add the hands. All right. Like that. Maybe we'll duplicate it right now. Hit this button right here that mirrors it. Put it over there. All right. Now we. I don't know if you can do it two at a time, but. I, I'm gonna try just one at a time because I know that works. Path division. Path division. Oh, it didn't work. Let me go try that again. There we go. So now you click on that. There we go. Now we got that object. Except for now, I'm gonna get the mouth there. So we'll move it out of the way. So we don't have to worry about it. Uh, we're going to group it. And then duplicate it, put it in there, you know page down and that shows you kind of how you can uh, page up manipulate it so there you go that's the first uh, introduction and I'm gonna show you a little bit more techniques in the next video so there, there it is for this video the next one I'll show you lettering and putting together the borders thanks